Today we are going to discuss about how to bind a Kendo drop-down list dynamically. Here we are going to discuss about Kendo UA drop-down list in ASP.NET MVC. So there are mainly two parts. One is the view part and another is the controller part. As shown in the image, this is the view part. As you can see, in this Razer MVC code, the name represents the ID of the drop-down list. The text field of the drop-down list is represented by the data text field. And the value of the drop-down list is represented by the data value field. Now, the drop-down list needs the data and that is bind by this data source. This data source is used for dynamically binding the data means the server-side binding is done by this data source. On the data source, you need to specify the controller name and the method name from which the data operations are done. So let's go to the controller part. Here it is the controller part. You can see. You can see the method name is same as this method name that is specified on the data source. So what this method would do? This method would get the data from the database or from any other service and uh, returns the data to the view as JSON result. This is very very important that the result is sent to the view as JSON result. In order to avoid their situations, you need to specify JSON request behavior dot allow get in your JSON result. Now the view part you can see the drop down would accept the data that is sent from the controller and would bind to the drop-down list. By this way, you can dynamically bind the data to the Kento UI drop-down list in ASP.NET MVC. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please visit technomark.in for more information.